hi everyone welcome back in this video let us take a look into add property source and add property sources annotations well add property source annotation is used to provide properties file to spring environment add property sources annotation is used to provide multiple properties file to spring environment well basically we use these two annotations to provide properties file to spring environment and then we can read these properties file from the spring environment Next, these annotations is used with add configuration classes. Next, add property source annotation is repeatable means you can have multiple add property source annotations on configuration class. Next, we can use add value annotation and environment classes to read the property file. Well, basically we use add property source and add property sources annotations to provide properties file to spring environment and then we use add value annotation and environment class to read the property file from the spring environment all right so let me create an example and let me demonstrate all these points so let's go to our project in integer idea over here well in spring boot project we have application.properties file and spring boot by default read this application.properties file automatically but in real time project we may have a requirement to read the custom properties file in a spring applications right so in this case we can use add property source annotation to provide the custom properties file to spring environment and then we can use add value annotation or environment class to read the property file from the spring environment so here first of all let me create one custom property file so go to resources folder and let's create one custom properties file let's give name as mail.property mail.properties Within this mail.properties file, we can configure all the mail related properties. Okay, for example, here let's say gmail.host equal to gmail.com and then gmail.email equal to ramesh at the rate gmail.com and then gmail.password equal to secret. Now we have created mail.properties file and we have defined couple of properties. Next, let's see how to use add property source annotation to provide this mail.properties file to Spring environment. So in order to demonstrate that, so go to base package over here and let's create a new package. So let's give package name as property source and within a property source, let's create a new class. Let's give name as app config and next let's annotate this app config with add configuration annotation well we use add property source and add property sources annotations with add configuration annotation right that's why we have created a configuration class and we have annotated it with add configuration annotation next here we can use add property source annotation next we need to provide the property file name so here the property file is present in a class path so here let's have a class path keyword and then followed by the property name that is mail dot properties okay so this is how we can use add property source annotation to provide the custom property file to the spring environment okay next we can read this property file using add value annotation or environment class okay so in order to do that here let me create a one new class and let's give a name as property source demo and let's annotate this class with add component annotation and next here let me create couple of properties private string host and then private string email and then private string password okay so basically we are going to read the mail.properties file right so if you go to mail.properties file here we have host email password so these are the properties we are going to read using at value annotation okay so go to property source demo class again and here let's annotate this host field with at value annotation and here is the syntax dollar within a curly braces we need to pass the property key so go to mail.properties file the property key is gmail.host so let me copy this and paste within this add value annotation next go to email field let's annotate this email field with add value annotation 
and the syntax is dollar within a curly braces we need to pass the property key so again go back to mail.properties file copy this key and paste here okay next let's annotate password field with add value annotation and then dollar within a curly braces we need to pass the property key so go back to mail.properties file copy this key and then paste over here now we have used add value annotation to read the properties next let's create a getter methods to get the values for these fields so here right click generate and then getter and select the fields click on ok now we have created getter methods for these private fields next let's get this spring bean from the spring ioc container and then we'll call its getter methods so in order to demonstrate this go to main entry point class and here let me comment out this line up code so only keep this context object so within a context object we have a property source demo spring bean so let's get this property source spring bean from the application context so here property source demo property source demo equal to context dot get bin and then pass property source demo dot class perfect now we have property source demo spring bin next it has a getter methods right so here just put the system dot dot println and then call property source demo it has get host method similarly let us print email and password so system dot dot println and then property source demo dot get email and then sysout property source demo dot get password next let us run this application and let us see how this works so from here i'm going to run this application well we got the exception over here it says conflicting bin definition exception well there are a lot of app compic classes in this project so here let me quickly rename so go to property source package within that we have app compic class so here let me rename this class name from app compic to spring compic and then also rename the file perfect next go back to main entry point class now let us run the application and there we go you can able to see we have successfully used at value annotation to read the properties from the mail.properties file right so this is how we can use you know at property source annotation to provide the custom properties file to the spring environment next at property source annotation is repeatable it means we can have multiple at property source annotations with configuration class for example here let me create one more properties file so go to resources folder within that let's create one more custom properties file let's give name as messages dot properties and let's give few properties like app dot name equal to let's give app name something like spring boot app and next property app dot description equal to spring boot app description something like that next let's go to spring config class here let's annotate this class with one more add property source annotation and then this properties file is present in a class path so here is a class path keyword and then followed by the custom property file name that is messages dot properties next in order to read this file content we can use add value annotation so go to property source demo here let's create a private field private string and then app name let's annotate this field with add value annotation and then dollar within a curly braces just pass the property key that is app dot name next create one more private field that is private string app description and then let's annotate this field with add value annotation and then dollar within a curly braces app dot description perfect next create a getter methods for these private fields so here just type get you will get a intelligence so just call this get app name so this will create a getter method for app name field next just type get app description this will give intelligence to create a getter method for app description field perfect next go to main entry point class and here let's put the system.println and then property source demo dot 
get app name and then system dot and then property source demo dot get app description perfect next let us run this application and there we go you can able to see the app name and app description is printed so this is how we can use multiple add property source annotations to provide multiple properties file to the spring environment okay next let us see how to use environment class to read the property file so go to property source demo class again and here we have used add value annotation to read the property file next let us see how to use environment class to read the property file so here what i will do i will inject environment class so here make sure that you choose environment interface from org.springframework.co.env package and let's annotate this field with at auto wide annotation so this is the field based dependency injection next let's comment out this at value annotation over here all right and go to getter method so here what we need to do is we need to get the value from the environment object so here just type environment and then it has get property method and then we need to pass the property key so here the host has a property key gmail.host so let's pass here perfect next go to get email method and here just call environment object it has a get property method and then pass gmail dot email as a property key next go to get password method and here just call environment object it has a get property method and then pass property key so here let me copy this property key gmail dot password similarly go to get app name method and then call environment object it has get property method and then pass app dot name as a property key and go to get app description method and here just call environment object it has get property method and then pass app dot description as a property key okay perfect next let's go to main entity point class and let us test this change so from here I am going to run the application and there we go you can able to see the output the host name is printed email is printed password is printed app name is printed and description is printed it means we have successfully used spring environment object to read the property content okay so this is how you can use either at value notation or environment object to read the property file content okay perfect next let me demonstrate the usage of add property sources annotation so go to spring config class over here here let me comment out these two lines of code and let me annotate this class with add property sources annotation and then within a curly braces we can pass these two annotations so here let me copy this annotation and let me paste it over here and then comma and then let me copy this and paste it over here okay so this is how we can use add property sources annotation to provide multiple properties file to the spring environment okay next in order to test this change go to main point class from here let's run the application and there we go we got the output okay so this is how we can use add property sources annotation to provide multiple properties file to spring environment okay i hope you understood how to use add property source and add property source annotation to provide the custom properties file the spring environment and how to read the property file content from the spring environment using at value annotation and environment object all right great i will see you in the next video